Now let's make another data connection. This time, instead of using Google Analytics, we are going to use Google Sheets. Google Sheet is a spreadsheet program by Google. It's very similar to Microsoft Excel. If you have used Microsoft Excel, then you should be quickly able to understand Google Sheets. However, there are lots of differences in how these products work. In order to understand all these differences, you'll have to take a Google Sheet course. For the purpose of this course, all you have to understand is Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program that can contain data just like any other program that stores the data. Here I have a sample Google worksheet. I will be using this worksheet to use in our report. This worksheet contains a day number and the revenue that was generated on that day. What I want to do is create a chart in a report that will show day number and the revenue. So in this example, our day number is the dimension and revenue is the metric, right? It's categorized by day. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Let's go back to our Google Data Studio. Click on the graph that we just added and change the data source. I'm going to click it and change the data source. Click on create new data source and let's find Google Sheets in here. Here you have Google Sheets. Click on select and it gives you several options where it says what spreadsheet you want to connect with. Owned by me. Clicking on that will show you the spreadsheets that are owned by you. Then there could be sheets that are shared by others to you. For, it, for now, we are just going to use Google Data Studio sample that I just showed you and then Pick the sheet that you want. It's called sheet one in my spreadsheet. And once you select the sheet, it also gives you some options on that spreadsheet. The first one lets you specify if the first row of your spreadsheet contains the header names. If we go back, we can see the first row is headers and it's called sheet one just to show you the name of the sheet. Let's go back. And the second option lets us specify if we want to include any hidden or filter cells in our data. There are no hidden or filter cells, but leave them as it is if you do have certain columns that are hidden or filtered. Once you're done, click on connect. You get this familiar window, which tells you what kind of data this is. Day is a number and revenue is a number. Once done, click on add to report. You get this window, which asks your permission and click on add to report. Now you'll notice since the data does not match the fields that were in there, this graph became blank. You can reconfigure this graph by changing the fields that are used in this graph. So once your data source is selected, as you can see up here, go back and as you'll see our dimension and metric are not correct. So we need to fix that. You can see it shows you invalid dimension and then your metric is chosen as day. However, we want our dimension to be day because all our data is categorized by day and then your metric is the revenue. So let's go ahead and change it. As you can see, there are available fields, day and revenue. Our dimension is day, so let's pick day and drag it over to add dimension. Now your invalid dimension shows you a way to remove that dimension. So click on this X and now your graph shows up. It only shows you day and day. However, our metric is also wrong. So let's go ahead and put revenue, click on revenue, drag it over to add metric, and then remove the day metric. There you have it. Now you can see day and you have the revenue there. This is how you make a connection to Google Sheets. Any future charts that you add will now use the Google Sheets as the data source.